You ever wonder if we get tired of this? You ever wonder how black you have to be? You ever wonder what it's like to be me? You ever wonder why white people have no problem calling you a None at all. They identify you quickly. Get that. Mm. But you mm, can't see me. Mm. You don't see me as you. But you take my money, don't you, honey? When you need my vote, when you need my throat, you got a message to deliver, but you shiver and quiver because you don't know how to go to the places that I know. So what? I'm born your enemy? That's what you see? An enemy in me. Hmm. One foot in. One foot out. You think that's what it's like. So because I'm not jet black, blue black. I'm not black enough for you. I've been up all night. Told you my ass is an insomniac. My black blood is good enough for the military. So when we come out well-trained, you don't see that half-breed then, do you? When we come out smoking, you don't see that half-breed. Did you see that in Malcolm? But you see that in me. What kind of yellow am I supposed to be? So, my heart doesn't count. What I witnessed in my life doesn't count. So, all the time I've been here for the 65 years, I've been treated white with all white rights. That's what y'all think. That just means you segregate it. In your mind. I don't know how many people I have had walk up to me. And ask me. Where am I from? Say what? You don't know your own? Uh, what? Dominican I've been called. I've been called. Ethiopian. It's not my fault. I don't know where we came from. But does it really matter? Because I'm here now. And where I came from, where you came from, and we all sitting in the same boat, get a, ro a, 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 a rope. Rope. Get, get a, what you call that thing? Get a paddle. Get a paddle. And row. And stop rowing in circles. I think 400 years of circles is long enough. But when I see the militants come out and deny me, you see. You don't even know who you are. That's all that lets me know. You don't know yourself if you don't know me. If you can't see me, you can't see you. Because you looking at you when you looking at me. But you can't see that either, huh? Well, well, well. I had thought I seen to live the day that we actually were going to get up together and move in the same direction 
economically, politically, militarily, from what I see. The same trick bag. But then you tell me, oh, you don't want to read all that history. Well, you know what they thought. They didn't think we'd ever be able to read. So go back to the 16th century, 17th century, and read what they wrote about us. Yeah, us. Where you think the one drop rule came from? See, I still go by that. I still go by that because I know they do too. If they can get one drop of your DNA, that's all they need. They can even make another you with a drop of blood now. Born with no country, no identity. I'm glad I know who I am. Because what they're getting ready to do in this futuristic society. All those books that you throw up in, 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 in an, an intelligent, educated person's face. Like we read too much. But your brain ain't as big to hold all the information. <laughs> My mother-in-law used to say that. My brain... My brain is full. Well, maybe empty some of the dumb stuff out and replace it with some of the stuff you need to know. Because this is what I do know. If you're playing in the battle of the piss ants, this is what's going to happen. Now, I just happen to be uh, someone that witnessed Dr. Frances Cress Wellesley. She came to L.A., to Anaheim, and I got to see this conference with Sweet Ernie Smith. So, I know you probably don't know who that is either. <laughs> Let me tell you what she told me. First, you got to play a game with me. Pretend you're going to adopt a black child. We're going to start right there, okay? And zero being light white, light bright and almost white. That's, that's zero on the end of the spectrum. 100 being jet black, blue black. 50, you know, the paper sack brown. Now think, I'm going to give you a few seconds. You tell me where on this spectrum, on this scale, from one, I said zero last time, from one to 100, where would you select the child's skin tone to be? <laughs> You have an answer. Did you come up with one? You need to discuss it. I'll wait. One, light, bright, almost white, with the good hair, you know. 50, paper sack brown. Blue black, jet black. Don't tell nobody what you select. Now, I'm going to tell you a story, and you keep that in mind, what your number is. You got your number in your pocket? Good. Keep up with me. Now, since we some militant red ants, we're going to have a red ant camp. And we're going to have a boule intellectuals. And they're going to be the black ants. One lives on one hill. One lives on another hill. They both got to get to the water. And they cross and pass. 
Now, one red ant seen a black ant, and they just had to go at it. And that's a dog snoring. They had to go at it. And then everybody jumped in. It was just a mess because, I mean, you had all of them together. Just masses. Black ants and red ants. But they heard something. Boom. 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 It was an ant eater. And he looked down at all the colored ants. And just did this. Because he didn't care what color they were. They was all ants to him. Cockroaches. I hear that cockroaches. Cockroaches come in all colors too. Remy. So, this camp, that camp, all I know is you all let us down. The females, you know how we feel? Don't get it twisted. I don't care what shade we are. We don't feel protected. We feel neglected. We don't feel like you think we're worth fighting for. You only fight for dead brothers. The live ones you don't care about. And then there's particular ones that you just won't fight for. Some you will. That's how the ant eater wins. Good night. This is a Cali Grio. You know... I even got that crap from somebody white in my section that, you know, you're an example of what mixed, you know, what black and white breeding does. This is why it's not good. You're why it's not good. Hmm. Really? Both sides. From somebody I once admired, I thought. But I was thinking wrong about a lot of y'all. So I don't know if this is just a pay-per-view boxing match. And controversy is what gets you all the way you want to be. And that's the only way you can be hard. I think it's sick. I think all of it's sick. Who don't have cases? And for the stuff that counts, most of the time, nobody tells. Keep your mouth quiet. Don't tell nobody that he did this or that to you. Even our homes aren't safe. So where are we supposed to go? That's real talk. You know what? Keep the channel. Don't keep it. See if I care. I'm strictly 100% disgusted by all of the men I heard. All of them. In one way or other. All I see is a sword fight with whatcha, whatcha, whatcha swinging. With no purpose and no point and no direction. So you really, really think when a popo see me, he don't see you? That's a fucked up point of view. Good night. Good morning. It's a Cali Grio. Yeah, you pissed me off.